All right, so we're going to go ahead and start cleaning. So okay. uh, let me get some, let me add the soap. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the entire container, two and a half container. And this is the, again, AquaClean LPH. You're going to do Yeah, let me pull the baskets out. So just for those for those of you out there in TV land, you can see that no no TV photography going on here. This is you know actual helmet fire soot on there from live burns. Just getting a good shot of that. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit. So these are uh, 16 by 20 baskets with a hinge lid. So when we're putting in plastic items that will float, they're not going to float away. Do another helmet. And then we'll do the boots, we'll show you the boots separately. Do a little different technique on the boots. So we're going to go ahead and just clamp the lid on. And we're going to go ahead and we'll drop that one in. Go ahead and close the lid. And then we'll let, we'll let Basically, we're going to wait six minutes for the point. What happens after we will clean the, the helmets is you would go to a free flowing sink and rinse the helmets off and then use compressed air to blow the air off or blow the, the excess water off and then you're done. And then a little bit of air dry. Um, I, again, this is a manufacturing facility, so I don't have a free flowing sink right here with the test equipment. Will's going to remove the baskets so and he's going to come over to the tank here. And we're just going to dip them and rinse them, and then we'll just we can use the compressor to, to blow it off. Cookies are done. Yep. Let's see what we got. What I'll do on the next bath is I'm going to take a helmet, and I'm only, I'm only going to I'm going to hold it in there and clean half of it. So now you'll be able to see before after on this on the same item. So you can see this one, which came out um, relatively. Clean. I'm. I'd probably put that. I think we might want to run it one more time. Okay. Yep. And same with this one. Does that one have a lot of soot on it? So, and you can see the face shield has been completely cleaned off. The shroud came out really nice. The shroud is completely cleaned. It's free of any carbon. This stuff that was on there that was from a fire that had a lot of polystyrene and a lot of uh, diesel fuel that was burning at the same time. One of my own personal helmets. So this one's going to need to be cleaned again. And this when, had, when was this helmet last used? And this one was used probably about two years ago. So that's been sitting okay. on there. Yeah, bad on me. It's been in my office for a while. But um, so it, it may need another cleaning. Sure. But, but that's typically what just, you're going to have it once yeah. you get the equipment in the very first time. Yeah. You're going to be dealing with some fairly contaminated gear. Yes. So on this, were we going to put it in the basket or just dip it in? Yeah, just go ahead and dip, just it, dip it in. Yeah, we're just trying to get, we're just getting the, the any soap residue. Okay. And honestly, if you skip this step, probably not the end of the world because it's soap residue and it's mainly water with a little soap residue. Okay. And then compre compressed air or a tap. Taking off the All right. And then we put it off to the side, and that would be a completed item. And I'm going to go ahead and clean half of it. So I'm just going to hold it. So it's going to be a little louder this time, and I'm not going to try to over. I'm not going to try to talk louder than the ultrasound. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. So let's leave the dirty one up front, and I'm going to go ahead and run this one separately. So that was just a, I don't know, a minute. I was in there maybe a minute. I'd probably normally, again, go about five, ten, five, six minutes, but very quickly you can see the difference. And then on the interior, you would just vacuum it out, correct? Well, mm -hmm. yeah. 
you want to that's uh, pretty amazing so again ultrasound is really easy really simple really quick very effective and takes the the pardon me i said even down here on the gray oh yeah like so like you can see in here so the the process again no matter what you're cleaning in, in your firehouse the process fairly simple so the only thing we're now dictating is temperature a little hot a little colder but it's not that big a deal time is really the only thing now we're dealing with once we get the soap in and you set your temperature it's just how long do you leave it in so some things are going to take a little less time again if you had a mask those are literally three to five minutes i mean the worst mask i've ever seen was a five minute clean generally if you're doing them after every after every shift which is not a bad idea since that's what's on your face that's a three minute clean that's that fast and you don't have to do any disassembly on a mask so uh, if you have a mask with any kind of electronics, you'd remove the electronics and hand clean that separately. But the physical mask goes straight in, take it out, no disassembly, rinse it with water, air dry it, and that's it.